Bet and Breakfast is a journey where betting determines everything. How to eat, drink, live and travel. On the journey to become a better player, you need to listen to the experts. Here are key learnings from this episode. The brain works in mysterious ways and you need to make sure to avoid fallacies. It's time for Betting Psychology with Katerina Gospich. Hi guys, I hope you're enjoying Barcelona. Today I'm going to talk about desirability bias. And desirability bias is about giving an answer that people want to hear. Let's say that there is this coach reporting on his team. He will of course always state the good things and he will never reveal that Messi had a stomach ache or that Ronaldo had a cold or something like that. And it can be the same thing for journalists. Let's say that there's a journalist favoring one of the teams. Even if he knows these things, he might not report on it. So guys, now when you're placing your bets, it's really important that you're questioning your source and that you're considering the information because is it about opinions or is it facts? Having played in Barcelona, Ada Gudjonsson knows a thing or two about El Clasico. Let's hear what he has to say. Time for Stats and Stories. Hello, Hello, boys. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. Welcome to Barcelona. Nice to meet you, thank you. Uh, have a seat. Thank you. Uh, oh, this is like obviously one of the biggest games in Spain, like you were saying. Massive rivalry, two of the best teams in the world. It's going to be high intensity, cat emotions. It's surely going to be a lot of cards. What do you reckon? That is one certainty for this game. We'll see a lot of yellow cards, <laughs> lot if, of not cards. Red, if not reds. Yeah. Not only because it's the El Clasico, it's because of the history between the two clubs. Uh, we've got Barcelona unbeaten in the league, so Madrid would want to stop that one from, from happening. After talking to Ada about El Clasico, Team Drogba turns to Unibet's head of sportsbook, Anthony Cousins, for some extra information on how to extend your Hi game. Guys. What's up, bro? So I hear you're living the high life after your fantastic win in Stockholm. Congratulations. Cheers. What I don't want you to do now is crash and burn. It's very easy to get carried away after a good win, start going in too hard. I'd really like you to actually reduce the amount of bets you're doing and yeah. really try and be focused on finding the value and the percentages and doing the work because that's paying off. The process is working for you. Well, it's great to see you guys again. Yeah, you too. Good to see you, Anthony. Useful. Good to see you, man. Good, Good to luck. see you. And bet responsibly, guys. Catch you in a bit, man. Next time when betting, trust data and not someone's biased opinion. Get to know the teams and their history against each other. And don't forget to make sure you find out where the value is. Don't miss the full episode of Bet and Breakfast.